Welcome to Electro Online. So in the previous video we inscribed the square into a circle. Here we're going to do it a rectangle. So at least you can see the similarity in how you approach solving this problem. What are we trying to do? We're trying to find the area of the rectangle, the circumference of the circle, the area of the circle, the surface area, and then the ratio of the surface area of the rectangle to the surface area of the circle. Hmm. Again, we're going to use the same technique. We're going to draw a line straight across. So now you see that if you draw a line straight across the other side, so when it hits this point right here and hits this point right there, the distance of that line, the length of that line, that's equal to the diameter of the circle. And notice that is also the distance diagonally across from one point to the other point on the rectangle. Since we're given the size of the rectangle is 12 centimeters long and 5 centimeters wide, we should be able to find that distance because notice here we have a triangle this side of course is also 12 centimeters so these are the two sides and that's a hypotenuse using the Pythagorean theorem we can say well let's see well, let's hold off on that because let me first find the area of the rectangle then we'll continue with that so the area of the rectangle is equal to the length times the width and the length would be 12 centimeters and the width would be five uh, let's see yeah there's five centimeters so you can see that the area is 60 centimeters squared. So that was easy. So now for the circumference. To find the circumference, we need to find the diameter. So the diameter squared, which is the hypotenuse, is equal to the sum of the squares of the two sides. So it would be 12 centimeters squared plus 5 centimeters squared. So that's using the Pythagorean theorem. We then say, well, that means that the diameter is equal to the square root by taking the square root of both sides. I take the square root of this. So it would be 144 centimeters squared plus 25 centimeters squared. So this is equal to the square root of 169 centimeters squared. And then if we take the square root of that, we get 13 centimeters. So now we know that the diameter of the circle is 13 centimeters. And since the circumference is equal to pi times the diameter, that is equal to pi times 13 centimeters, of course pi is 3.14159, none and none and none, but if you have a calculator, you just simply take 13 times the number pi, and you get 40.84 centimeters. Likewise, to find the area of the circle, and I should, probably should make a circle symbol, so it is for the circle, that is equal to a pi r squared or pi d squared over 4. Since we know the diameter, we'll use that. So that would be pi times 13 squared divided by 4, which is equal to pi times 169 divided by 4. And so now grabbing a calculator, we take 169 divided by 4 times pi, and we get 132.7. That is 132.7 centimeters squared because we're looking for the area. And then finally, we get the ratio of those two. So the area of the rectangle divided by the area of the circle that is equal to 60 centimeters squared divided by 132.7 centimeters squared. All right. So take the inverse of that times 60, and we get. Oh, that didn't work out right. So let me try that again. 169 times pi divided by 4 equals, all right? Take the inverse of that and multiply that times 60, and we get 0 0.452. 0 0.452, which is the same as 45.2%. So in this particular case, the ratio of the area of the rectangle to the area of the circle is 45.2 percent, so a little bit less than half. Now that depends upon the shape of the rectangle. Rectangles come in all kinds of shapes, the length to the width ratio is different, and so this is not a value that you'll find for every rectangle, it'll depend on the rectangle that they give you. However, for the square, it'll be the same number regardless, because that ratio will always be the ratio that we found in the previous video, and that is how it's done. 